Hi, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the Mizamo characters from Mizamo to Smile Game Builder to make it become a game character in Smile Game Builder. Here I already give you a few download link, the Mizamo.com. We go to the Mizamo.com, this one. I already enter here, control V, enter the Mizamo.com. I already put the link at the video description. Once you enter the Mizamo, you need to log in. Log in the Mizamo by using your Gmail account. <clears throat> Next, you can see character and animation. So we are going to download the characters. Here we have about, about 100 or 200 free characters which you can download it so now I just choose one of the character just to click it then you can download so now I choose this I want this character. After that, I just need to click download. Before I download, I just show you another link. This one, the Mizamo to Smart Game Builder workflow zip file. You go and download this first. I already prepared the whole workflow for you. So what should you do? After you download this, you will get a zip file. Mizamo to Smile Game Builder workflow. Extract this. Right click. Extract all. Click extract. Now you automatic extract into a folder. Cut and paste this. Control X to cut and paste on your desktop. Now, this one is the workflow. So now I delete this zip file. Once you download, download it and extract it, you also can delete. Press delete. So now everything will work in this folder. Once I'm in the Mizamo, I download it and click download. This one, of course, the Tipos FBX. You download first. You download as an FBX file. You click here. Show in folder. This is Google Chrome. It downloaded as FBX file. So now I can close the Mizamo already. Close it first. Because the Mizamo, it always occupies a lot of GPU and the video RAM, video memory. So. After I download this, I cut and close back to the folder. I paste at here original models and motion. I can paste here, control V. This is the FBX file. Next, open your 3D exchange. Then you drag in the FBX file. This is Icon 3D Exchange 7. You drag in. Then click OK. This one you click No. Alright. Then you back. You back to your previous folder. Okay, for 0, 01 is to convert to Icon Avatar. This one is up to you. If you love, love to convert it, that's okay. There's no, no related to how can you bring into the Smile Game Builder. So for this time, I, I will convert it to iAvatar for the icon. So I will just drag this down, convert to non-standard. All right, so now you can see there's something wrong here. I cancel first. 
One thing that you must make sure is you, you need to click here. This is a real human size. So this this model is too, too small already. Click the root node here and press R. Sorry, press R. Drag the yellow color one to make it become a human size. This step you must do. Then you drag it up here. Reset transform. Now, now the size is okay already. This one, the human size references. All right. So now I I want to convert to non-standard. Click here. Drag it down and choose Maya human IK. Now it already mapped all the skeletons. I click active. Now I convert. After I convert it, it already become, become the eye avatar. So now I export it at here. I export the geometry here. Tick here, choose others. Then I copy the destination location, control C, and then I paste here. This one I control A to select all, then I delete. I paste here control B, then click OK. Now it already exported as I avatar. Next step, I back to the previous folder. This is the workflow FBX without bones. Go in. So OBZ first, FBX second, what is the meaning? So now convert to OBZ. Convert to OBZ, choose this folder, I control C. Here, Control A, delete. Control V, this is a destination, and make sure the file name you choose the short one zero zero one. So, because next time you need to use the Simplicon, the Simplicon only accept this type of the very short file name. Otherwise, all the texture were missing. Remove hidden mesh, merge job, merge opacity to diffuse texture. Click OK. Now the OBJ file is already exported here. The whole folder we want to get the FBX without bones. At the beginning, it have the bones. Once you convert to OBJ, it already lost the bones. That is what we want. Drag in the OBJ again. Now for this time, we we export as FBX. At the same folder, we we name it 002. So copy this, Control C. Paste here as a destination, then I put. Alright, you can still put 001 because it changed the format already. You, are, you can put 002 as well, it doesn't matter. It show all the sequences. So, this one is the FBX file. Alright, I think I already did a mistake. So I just delete it first. I need one step to show you. If you Export as FBX file. Here you always choose Maya. Maya window 32 bit. Optimize. And make sure you tick here and tick here. Make sure you tick here also. Embedded texture. Embed texture. Max image size and convert image format to PNG. The maximum image size put it as small as possible. I will put 512. So then I copy this location. Control C and paste here. Destination, Control V, click OK. Now it export as FBX file. Once you drag in again into the 3D exchange, now you can see it automatically will extract the folder, this folder, all the texture is in here. So now in this folder, you back to the previous folder. The next one is a simply gone and 3D exchange. So the Simply Gone, you can download it. The download link I already put at the bottom. At the video description, you can download the Simply Gone SDK for free. Use this link. All right. So in the Simply Gone, you use a folder 02. The FBX 001 FBX, you drag in. Click Import. Now, at the Simply Gone here, Click the set, 
setting editor then click the lock to make sure you unlock this too click so once you unlock it after that you back to the setting here so make sure now you can see these two are selected you click again to deselect it make sure you clear everything and first step you see the triangles 17,000 this is high poly faces so high poly faces is not suitable for the smile game builder we need to decrease it the ideal triangles is 5,000 triangles so now I click here the number of triangles click here I limit to 5,000 next click the texture material baking component click here now this material baking click the plus symbol beside the channel the material baking means if this object if this 3d object have multiple meshes and multiple textures if you have multiple texture images in this 3d object then it will bake all the materials into just one single texture this is called material baking once you already click the plus channels all this will come out the diffuse you can see this plus click the plus symbol make sure the first one the channels RGBA you select to RGB and then the output sRGB you deactivate it now you can click to process now So now it already turned become green color. Click here, click to import. Then you click this. You can see the before and after. The number of triangle already decreased, reduced to 5,000. So now I want to export it. At your folder, you back to the previous folder, the Simply Gone and 3D Exchange. For this one, you export as, sorry, you export it as 001. The ROD one. So file, export. This is folder 03. File, export, sin. You copy this folder location, control C, and paste here, control V. Here, control V, enter. Remember to enter, then it will enter this folder. Now, this one you choose FBX. And the file name here at the folder 03, you put the file name 001. Click save. Click export. Now you can see what we want actually is 001 ROD1. You can ignore this. You can delete this as well. We want the ROD1. For this one, drag in. Drag in the 001 ROD1 in the 03 folder. Click import. Click new. Do you want to save it? Click no. You don't need to save it. So now for this time, you maximize your simply gone. These two are selected. You need to deselect it. Next, click the aggregation component. Here, merge material deactivate it. The merge material, the merge geometries, you make sure activate it. This one is if your 3D models have multiple meshes, then the merge geometries will combine all the meshes into just one single 3D mesh. This is very important. We need to make our 3D models as simple as possible. Now I click to process. And wait for a while until it finish it will turn green at this bar so
So now ready, click download, click import. So click this one. Now you can see the texture is missing, but you don't need to worry about the texture missing. Just now you already have all the texture actually already embedded into the 3D mesh, the FBX file. So now I export this file, export scene, export into the folder 03. I copy this folder location, control C, and paste here, paste here, control V, enter. Save as the type here, I put FBX file, FBX, and the file name I put 002. Sorry, this one is wrong one. This one back. Use this folder. This is folder 03. Control C to copy and paste here, Control V, enter. The file name put 002 and save as a type we put Autodesk FBX. Then click save, click export. So now what we want is the 002 LOD one. This one. So now open your Icron 3D exchange. This one 002 LOD one you drag into the Icron 3D exchange 7. Click OK. You can turn it on. This is the human size. Yes, everything fit into the human size. And then you can see the moment that you push it into the 3D exchange 7, it will automatically extract this 002 LOD1 FBM. The texture is inside. We find the file name diffuse and we drag the diffuse into the mesh. Now it all it all will automatically fill in the texture. Now you can see these 3D models it have just one single mesh, the single 3D mesh, and it also just contain one single material texture. So this is the 3D models in the simplest form, which is easier to be used in a Smile Game Builder. So for this one, now I back to the previous folder. Back to the previous folder. All right, still in the folder 03, the simply gone and 3D exchange. So this time, I export as 003 as FBX file. Click FBX. The file, the file name I put 003 file name. Then here I choose Maya Window 32 bit optimize. Make sure take this and take this. Both of the, both of them, embed textures. And I copy this folder location, Control C, and paste at the destination, Control V. Click OK. Now you can see it import as 003 FBX. Click OK. Now we back to the previous folder and see the, the next one is the Mizamo Auto Rig and Motion. So you need to back to your Mizamo website, this one www.misamo.com Control C to copy. And I go to, to my browser. Control V, enter. For this time, what you need to do is you click upload character. Then you back to your folder 03. Drag in the 003 FBX into here. Now maximize your browser. Now at here, you click next. This is the auto rigger. Drag the chin to here, the waist, elbow, the knee, and the groin. So now the skeleton LOD we choose no finger 25. Click this. Then next. The Smile Game Builder cannot support too many bones. So here you have to select the, the bones without the fingers. We don't need the fingers. 
we want to make these 3D models as simple as possible. So the auto rigging process it takes some time. Just wait for a while. Now click next. Click next. Now it is ready to download. Before I add any animation, this is just a T post. For your first step, download this T post. I click download. With T post, I click download. It will download. Once it finished download, click here, show in folder. This is Google Chrome browser. Once I show in folder, it is in my download folder. So this one, 003, where should you put? You, back, you, you can close this one, then open again the folder, Mizamo to SGB to Smile Game Builder Workflow, double click. So this 003, you should put inside the Mizamo Auto Rig and Motion. So this one is, is the 3D models which already rig, already have the bones inside. So put into here. I just drag in. So this one, the, the name, it doesn't matter so far. Now, the next step, if you need some animation here, I can put some animation. For example, I search a kick. I want a kick. Then search. All right. So I want this one MMA kick. I just to click. So for this kick, this time, I will just click download. Here, FBX, the frames per second. I will put sixty. And download without the skin. Click download. Now I want to add another one. Walk. As demo, I will just put two in circle. So, so I put this the female walking star. Here I can just click in place. This is suitable for game. So I post it. Now I can click download. Without skin, 60 frames per second. Click download. So you can see it download as the file name of the motion name. So this one, it locked me out. So I log in again. It's over 30. Four hours, 24 hours, continue with my Google account. Walk, W-A-L-K. Walking. Here I choose in place. Then I can download, click download. Click download and wait for a while. It is downloading. As demo, I will just put these two the MMA kick and the walking. I click here, show in folder. Now, these two FBX files they are just motion. I control X to cut. Now, I can close the Mizamo back to this folder. This folder is under folder 04 Mizamo Authority and Motion. I double click. These two motions, I paste here, Control V. All right. The next step, you open your Icon 3D Exchange, drag in the 003 FBX. The data will be discarded. Do you want to export the data? No, this one I choose no. Then click OK. You can import the animation as well. But actually, no need, I think. If you want, you can import. 
that's only just a T pose. So here you drag it down. You can see, convert to non-standard. Before that, I can drag in the motion here. It's under motion library. The MMA kick and the walking, I, I select them. Then I drag into the animation. Click OK. Every time also click OK. Now. All right, this motion is perfect. So now, these two motion is not yet in the perform editor. We need to click number two and hold. So this one you can add all to perform. Just have one click. This one is the key pose. So I can delete this. So MMA kick all this. Key pose. All right, the next step I'm going to convert to non-standard where is it? it's somewhere here convert to non-standard here choose Maya human IK here take active convert click OK now it already become a non-standard characters in iClone now we try all this animation see whether it still work yes it still work and this one the walking. All right, everything still work, and now we have the T pose also. So now you can close this folder. You can close any folder as well. The download folder you can close it. Next step: open your Mizamo to Smart Game Builder Workflow folder. Now you open the folder zero five. For this time. You export as I avatar and resolution motion, the icon motion first. This is very important because next time you can direct start with 05 and add in more animation, maybe from icon or Mizamo. So now click this one, export, control E, then add here. The I avatar name. Export the geometry, you must take it. Then export the animation, you must take it. Here, export RL motion, you take it. Here, make sure choose others. So now, these two folder location, we want to put this folder location. I copy this, Control C, and then here I Control A, delete, Control B to paste. Here also, Control A to delete, then Control V to paste. Control A, select all. You can delete everything. So now the geometry file name is 003. But once, because of this is a new folder, I can just put 001. Doesn't matter. Then I click OK. Now it already become an iAvatar. This is iClone Avatar file and iClone Motion file. So now I back to the previous folder. Now I want to export to Smile Game Builder. Double click here. So in your in your 3D Exchange 7, you have three animation and also the 3D mesh. Now the visible faces count is 5000. I want to export it here. File. So you want to export as FBX. This is the final one. It should be ready to smile game builder. So export here. Because of it is a final. So I want to name it name her properly. This one. What is her name? At the beginning. We check the first folder. This is okay. This one is the character's name. Control C. Then I back. Now Ready to smile game builder is folder 06. Open this folder. And the file name I can just do control V to paste here. This is media M Ariballa. So first time 
Here, choose Maya Window 32-bit Optimize. Make sure you tick here and here. Make sure you tick Embed Texture as well. Then this time only include the geometry. Do not include the animation. In you want to export FBX in this folder. Control C to go over the folder location. Here, Control V to paste at the destination and click OK. For this time, this is the character media. So next step, you also sorry, this is simply gone. I can close the simply gone already. Wait. So next step in 3D exchange, you still not yet change anything. You click here FBX. Export the FBX file. For this time, I take the include. Sorry, this one you choose Maya Window 32 bit optimized first. Make sure you take this too. Now you untick include geometry and you click include animation. Next one, you also need to click here save one text per file. And you copy this one, copy this folder location link, control C and paste here as the destination control V. Now everything ready, the file name also ready. The file name should same as this one. Control C, then put here, Control V. Then you click OK. Once you click OK, now you can see these three. These three are animation; they are motion, without the three D mesh. So next thing, what you need to do, this one is ready to Smile Game Builder for this folder. Now you can go to a Smile Game Builder. You want to import this character and three motions from Mizamo. So now click add asset. These are characters. So you click character, then click add. So this folder location is on the desktop. So in your Smile Game Builder, here you click desktop. The folder is here. Mizamo to Smile Game Builder workflow. Ready to Smile Game Builder. This is folder 06. Click here. Make sure you take this. And here the scale you put 0 0.007. And you select everything here. This four. Click add. So now you have three motions. This conversation warning will jump out three times. So this is the first time, you click OK. The second, click OK. Third, click OK, then finish. Here we'll show add four characters in the category characters, click OK. Now under the character, 3D character, you can go and find your character. What is the name? It starts with M. So you are going to search M. It should be somewhere here. So this one, this four. What you need to do, you click. This one is the main one. What are you going to do? You can see these two are the name. So we use this link. Copy here. Control C. Then go to the file explorer. Right click here. File explorer. Then Control V to paste here. Control V. Enter. These are your folder. Go and find this folder name. This is media M. Alright, this four folder now you can see. It's at here. What you need to do, these three are the motion folder. Control X to cut. Then put into here media M Arabola. Before you put, you need to open a new folder. Right click, new folder. The folder name is motion. M O T I O N, the motion. Enter the motion folder, then here you paste paste all your motion here, control V. Now it all already in folder. We don't want the folder. So here you search FBX. Then it will all show all this motion file. You just need to select all, then control X. Back to your previous folder. Paste here, control V. 
Now you can delete these three folder. Delete it. All right. So now, this one you can close. Then, wait for a while. Next, you go, you go back to the add assets. Then, you drag it down to find your character. Now, Now we check the folder first. Oh, under here. Now we also check back all this. This is a folder 06. We check check our FBX file. See whether it's is that all the motion can work. This is a T post and this one. So this time in the motion here, I make it a short file name, the walking kick, and also this one is the T post. And what you need to do, you put all this in. Again, you back through your I avatar and, and RL motion. You drag in the I avatar. Do not export the data. Then you you put in this RL motion. All right, it, it is already here. Next, you go to SGB time span and fix tool. You have FBX setting. You check this one MMA kick Mizamo is one zero one. So this one you drag into FBX setting. Here is one zero one. So here you put one zero one. Enter. Then the walking eighty three. You drag in to the FBX setting. Here we put XT3, enter. And also, the T post is the length is 3, you drag in, then you put 3. Next, at here, you simply click, click another model and you back to here. Now, all, all the animation is ready. So, to utilize this walking animation, you need to make it a proper file name the walking so we can check the the other models for example the original models of the smile game builder okay so now i check this Control C to copy, then 
I open the file explorer, right click, file explorer, control V to paste, enter. So we check the motion name. If we want to utilize the walking, what is the file name of, of the walk? It's not that here. Okay, this one. MOT001 underscore walk. So I copy this file name, control C. Then we back to our folder. This one is your new models folder. The walking file name, you change it to become MOT001 walk. Then the smile game builder will automatic make this one become the default walking motion. Now back to your smile game builder. You go and find yours. This one is your new new models. The walk. You can see. So can you utilize this model? Yes. Now back to your smile game builder after I close the add assets. I go to the edit game data. The characters. I change my default graphic. I change to that girl. Just wait for a while. Change graphic. And which one is the girl? Start with the M. M. Okay, this one. I click OK. I select the walk. Then I click OK. I right click at any random point and make this the start point. Then I play test. Enter to look at the new new game. So by default, it is a T-Pose, and now you can use this character. But if you stop, it never follow you to step right, because you never set your default either motion. Now I close it first, and I will show you how. Back to your folder, the motion folder here. And you, you take another character as reference. These are, the, these are the Smile Game Builder original characters. You go and find which one. So this one is motion 002, wait. This is very important file name. So now, we only have the t-post so just now we we never download any of any of the motions from Mizamo is about the waiting so now we still can do it back to the Mizamo Mizamo.com control C and paste here So if you want to add more motion here, 
you can back to your folder back and then go back to folder 04 this file name is just now you, you already auto read by the Mizamo this one you can pull it back so not pull it this way you need to click upload character so now I pull in 003 this one This one already rig, so we no need to rig again. We just want to capture more animation. So this one is ready. Click next. Next. So you can back to the Mizamo anytime. So now let's say I want I want an either pause. IDLE. Waiting. Alright, maybe this. So I download here to 60 the skin without the skin we only want the animation then click download so after finish download you click here show in folder and you can close the Mizamo again so this one, Control X, then we put into the folder 04, Control V here. Next, you back to the previous folder, go to your I avatar and RL motion folder. You open your eye avatar with the icon 3D Exchange 7, drag in 001. And now you delete all the motion. We only want to add in one, one new motion. So here back. Back to the folder 04. We want this one, the idol drag into the animation motion library click OK and have a check yes this is the motion that we want so click here add all to perform next click export as FBX file then you back to your previous folder we export at ready to smile game builder this folder and then the file name you put the same control C put the same as the model's name include animation here first you choose the Maya first and then include geometry we don't want we only want to include the animation Save one text per file and then this folder destination control C paste here control V click OK. Now click OK. Which one is the new one? This one. So now back to your smile game builder. The add asset there. Now I'm going to close close all the folder. All right. Then open this folder again. Ready to smile game builder. Import this. So you click add. Then if this is on your desktop. Mizamo to smile game builder workflow. 06 ready to smile game builder. The idol, which one is the idol? Ah, this one, idol. 
So this one you, you maintain unchanged 0 0.007. Next, click, click, click Add. Then click OK. It is added. So you go and find it. This one. We open this folder location, copy this, control C, then go to your file explorer, you right click, file explorer, click here, control V, enter. So for this one, you back to your previous folder. Okay, this one, the idle. So this one you control X to cut. And then you back. This one is your models folder, media M Aribola. Under the motion file, control V to paste here. Then what file name we want to name it? We go to find any random characters, original characters from Smile Game Builder. For example, this control C to copy. Then right click the file explorer. So here control V enter. We try to find the motion folder and see which one is the, the proper file name. Should be this one MOT002. Wait, so we copy this file name, control C, and then we rename our file name, this one. F2 to rename it, control V, enter. So now you have this type of the file name, then the Smile Game Builder system will autom automatically recognize it as the default. So you find your character, this one. Wait. So now you have a wait, but you, you can see this is abnormal. Because you still lack of one step, you still miss one step. That is the step seven. You close this folder, open your workflow, go to the folder 07, and you check your 3D exchange. How many frames of this idle motion? It's 998. So This one is 998 frames. You drag into FBX setting. 998, enter. So this time it should be normal. Now, everything is normal now. You already fixed it. All right. So now you can play test again. Everything will look normal. This time I play test. So you can see that the idle, the idle state. This one is your game character. This is a first person view. <laughs> Alright, so now everything looks normal. I also can make it become a game character, just a random speak. I click here. Then I change the graphic. I can use my new character as well from the Mizamo, this one. Then I can make make it an animations in the map. Click OK. Now I play test again and we can look look the effect. Alright, so now everything, everything already set properly. 
and this is really a, a successfully import. Now we already successfully import the character from Mizamo and Mizamo's motions already successfully import into the Smile Game Builder. And that's all for today. We have how many workflows here? Seven steps. If you follow all these seven steps, then you will successfully import this character into Smile Game Builder. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to you, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and remember to turn on the mini bell so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive the notification immediately. Turn on the mini bell and select all to receive the notification. See you in my next video.